Good morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and I suspect that by now most of you will have heard that uh, the trucking company Yellow uh, will be ceasing operations and filing for bankruptcy. I believe they have done so already, at least they have stopped operating. And I believe that uh, 30,000 people will be put out of work. And so it begins, unfortunately. Hopefully some of these people will be able to find jobs in other trucking industries and definitely we have companies like UPS and FedEx that will pick up the slack for shipping. But uh, Yellow apparently had some of the lowest prices in the industry, which only means that prices are definitely going to go up. Um, and the other thing that I, my little bit of research told me that uh, Yellow supplied some major companies and one of them was Walmart and the other one is Home Depot. Now these are companies that uh, supply quite a large percentage of a population with their goods and services. So you can expect prices in both those firms to increase as they will be paying higher shipping costs to get their products to their stores. Needless to say, the increasing costs for the consumer are going up. Food prices are going to go up, goods and services are going to go up, and uh, this whole cycle is probably just the beginning of the downturn that we can expect and the job losses that we can expect. So once again, bulking up your pantry now is a good idea. I have no idea what the uh, fall harvest is going to be like and uh, what the price of goods and services are going to be in the fall. Um, hopefully you'll be able to get things at a reasonable price and be able to fill your pantry now while you still can. I'm sure you can always start a pantry. It's just that you're going to be paying higher prices for the same item. And this is what has occurred actually in the last couple of years. It's the shortages, if there were any, were short-lived and they were uh, really stocked up again with similar or same product and there was always items to be had if you wanted them. Unfortunately, everything cost more. Now, <clears throat> is that a good thing to get you accustomed to paying higher prices so that we can start producing things in our own countries rather than paying uh, lower prices for uh, inferior goods and services coming from overseas. Well, you know, I've heard say that if you are not willing to spend the extra money for products made in the U.S., then you're part of the problem as well. Unfortunately, a lot of people have no choice. It's not as though they can afford to spend the extra money for better quality products. I do my best to avoid things from sea. Um, you can't always, as my youngest daughter told me, everything is made there. Uh, so it is quite the um, challenge to um, verify where products are made and um, how to avoid them. Um, you can always find alternatives, I believe, but they are made in other places. Now recently I bought myself a couple of um, linen summer dresses and uh, very light, very comfortable and I looked at the label and they were made in Italy and I thought well that's wonderful. They're not made where I don't want them to come from. So and yeah the styles were similar to what you'd expect from that uh, area of the world. But linen dresses or linen clothing takes a little bit more care and uh, they are simply summer dresses. They were not expensive. I don't buy expensive clothes anymore. Unfortunately, where I used to spend good money on clothing was on suits and I don't wear those anymore and they don't fit me anymore. They're still in my closet and I'm trying to get back down to that thin waist. <laughs> I don't know if I'll succeed though. They probably should go to the Goodwill, but 
they're good wool suits that you don't find anymore. So I'd like to hang on to them and be able to wear them if need be. So getting back to 30,000 people losing jobs and that is likely just the tip of the iceberg. I don't know how many of these people will be able to find jobs in their own industry or whether some of them will be able to transition to something else and some of them will probably never work again. I mean that's always been the case. Another cloudy day out there. Seems as though we don't see much of the sun at all and it's cool again. And I know some of you were hoping for this kind of weather but uh, as far as I'm concerned it's still too early in the year to be this cool. I understand the heat will return and I'm glad for that. I mean we have a short enough summer as it is that uh, we'd like to enjoy it while we can. Winter comes far too quickly around here. And uh, so yes I'm hoping that uh, I can still get tomatoes and peppers. I'm, I'm not holding my breath. I'm sure I'll get some tomatoes, but not the quantity that I was expecting. Although uh, watermelons are doing wonderful. Um, cucumbers are doing more than awesome. We're having fresh cucumber salad almost every night, and why not? That's what you do when you have plenty of something. And interestingly enough, Mark finds the cucumbers very refreshing and he will eat them. So, And Mark's not a big one for um, vegetables. I mean, he'll eat his peas and his corn and he likes to put onion and garlic in food. But uh, as far as other vegetables, oh yeah, broccoli he'll eat but and carrots. But those are the standards and not too much beyond that. Whereas... I like a little bit more uh, variety, but we do what we can. So the cucumbers are a nice refreshing salad. It would be nice to add tomatoes to that and maybe we can do so before the cucumbers are finished, but hard to say. I have sliced up some of my cucumbers and I'm preserving them using the fermenting method and I don't know what those will be like because I've never fermented sliced cucumbers. Uh, so far it's been a few days. They smell good and I think my uh, uh, coleslaw or, or sorry my sauerkraut is ready to go in the fridge and be uh, put away. So I do have to clean out the fridge from last year's things that didn't get eaten and replenish them with fresh ones. I may go out and buy uh, some pickling cucumbers and just make one very large jar of um, pickling cucumbers, uh, fermented cucumbers for those days when we want uh, either a wedge as a side uh, dish or a slice for a hamburger or something like that. We do like to have some of those in-house. So I will make at least one large jar, probably not more than that because I have such a variety now and so many cucumbers. Uh, I may yet make some more bread and butter pickles. I have been giving away cucumbers. I was at the garden yesterday and the old fellow who had given me the uh, garlic, well, I finally saw him there. I was a little worried about him because he had not cut his scapes back. He had a whole uh, plot planted with just his garlic. Uh, definitely, he's a fan of that. And uh, I said, well, you, you didn't cut your scapes back. And he says, yeah, I know. I says, he said, but, uh, he says, I should have cut them back, but that has not damaged his garlic. His garlic is fine. And I'm thinking, great. Because I understand that if you don't cut the scapes back, the plant works to produce a seed rather than working to uh, grow the bulb. So, but he said that his garlic is fine, and oh, I, I hope so, because he had a huge plot of garlic. You know, it would have been a shame to lose it all. But anyway, I gave him some of my cucumbers, and uh, you know, that, that's what you do there. You share what you have of plenty with those that have something different. And as he shared his garlic with me, and I was able to I put it all back last year, like I grew it last year and it was wonderful and I thought well I'm going to take all these uh, bulbs, split them into cloves and plant the whole thing and then this year I've got at least a hundred bulbs if not more. 
So I will be putting some of them back in the ground again. Okay, and as for these 30,000 people that uh, have lost or will lose their jobs based on this uh, trucking company going out of business, hopefully they will be able to find uh, alternative employment elsewhere. My concern, of course, and the thing to keep an eye out on is other companies folding locations. And we know that a lot of retail stores are shutting down a lot of their retail outlets due to being in high crime areas and those locations just not being profitable anymore. But as these stores close, more people are going to be out of work. And of course, that is another thing to keep an eye on, not only what the banking industry is doing, what the financial industry is doing, what your economic position is, but what is going on uh, in the country as far as employment is concerned. And I, it looks like that's on a downward trend at this point, and it's going to affect a lot more people. And of course, with that, your housing industry is affected. Everything is affected. So. don't know how bad that's going to get, but it's not a good thing. So uh, something else to keep an eye on. And, you know, I've been watching what's going on in the news and um, one bit of news getting a lot of traction and then because of that something else has to supersede it and make sure that the first bit is not heard and not um, front and center and so something else gets the limelight and it gets people all upset and uptight and my thought behind all of this is that there's something going on behind the scenes that they're trying to keep you in the dark about because all of this is a distraction all of it every single bit of it keep you focused on this battle and that battle and this criminal activity and that criminal activity and who's being charged and what's going on here and what's going on there and who's the good guy and who's the bad guy and to me it just seems like there's something behind the scenes that they don't want you to look at. They don't want you to see it, they want to focus your attention in a certain direction and uh, folks open your eyes Keep your eyes open to what is really going on and don't let the distractions f focus your attention. See what's important to you and what you feel would be beneficial to you and yours. And follow that, follow that trend. Okay, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Keep your eyes open. Prep. Keep some, keep some extra food in your home. Anyway, have a great day. Bye for now.